here we are. We're, we're on, I think. Are we? Oh, we are live. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to... Um, hey, guys. Welcome to uh, Rainbow for Cancelled People. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, you all know Rainbow, Artie. It was a very famous children's TV show that featured uh, Bungle and uh, Jeffrey and Zippy. So I'll, I'll leave everyone else to decide which one of those we, we are. Um, <laughs> I think I'm uh, a bit familiar, but. <laughs> uh, I have had a very good day, just to say. Um, a certain uh, vexatious litigant has had their arse handed to them by a judge. I shall be expanding on it when I can, but at the moment I have to be a little bit circumspect. But uh, please do watch the um, uh, watch my blog and stuff, and I'll keep you updated. Um, and also, uh, I know we shouldn't do we should do this off screen, but we must remember to tell people to like and subscribe. I see other people, like young people. I see young people doing that a lot, <laughs> uh, and and it seems to be something that the young people are doing. So, so if you are watching uh, us on YouTube, please remember to like and subscribe uh, because um, it it helps us get across to more people or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. And also for us, doing. click the little, when you subscribe, click there's a little bell next to the subscribe button to get alerts. Oh. And you should click that too, because we tend to do our podcast at irregular intervals. And yes. if you don't click that bell, you won't get an alert on your phone telling you that the greatest show on earth has just begun. <laughs> and you need to get yourself to a screen as quickly as possible. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, Next speak. note. <laughs> <laughs> Click. <bell>. Um, <laughs> oh, what about this statue, eh? That everybody is going crazy about. Oh, it's 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 so many of these issues that it's just like if you look at it one way, it's infuriating. If you look at it one another way, it might have a degree of understandability to it, perhaps. But so it's one of those. You know it's what I mean. Eight. That's that's very very well put, very well put actually, because um, I hadn't appreciated at first, but it's a statue to uh, to her, not of her, um, yes. which makes it makes actually quite a big difference. Although then you think, well, they missed a bloody trick, didn't they? Not making a statue of her, which <laughs> then you're, you're then you're right back here, and then you think, oh, but and then you, but yeah, but but. Um, so yeah, and thing. obviously, everyone's question is, what's with the massive, massive brush of pubic hair? I mean, it's enormous. Really? Maybe oh. it's a maybe, maybe, maybe it's a tribute to second wave. Is that feminism. not normal? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a tribute to Jermaine Greer and and. and, and well, no, I'm, look, I'm you know, don't get me wrong, pubic hairs, it's all good, but there's yeah. a lot of it. <laughs> there a you huge go. amount. There you go. That's why I think this is this is possibly a a secret Radfem sculpture. Like like like. Okay, okay. I got. I, I want to just say a couple of things about the sculpture because I noticed it kicking off yesterday, and I was very happy not to be on Twitter um, in my official capacity because at the time I would have felt the pressure to weigh in and start, you know, giving my two cents, you know. But seeing it happen from the outside was very interesting because, well, I, I, I just got a little bit uncomfortable with certain things. First of all, the, the, the choice was between a female artist and a male artist. And the male artist's idea was a, a sculpture, not a statue, right? And this female artist won, okay? So that's the first thing, a woman got the commission, okay? And the second thing is, um, I, I think that the, the image is supposed to be a, a, the kind of universal ideal of a human, okay? And I think that that universal ideal has been represented by male figures for the entire history of art. And so I was quite impressed that the universal ideal of humanity, this once, <laughs> was represented by a female figure. You know, I, 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 I was, I was kind of glad to see that. And I think that when people were complaining about the figure being nude, I kind of just thought, well, that's how, like, if you look at Adam and God with the fingers on the South Bank show, going, um, you know, it's always a man. It's always a man. And the woman is seen as a kind of secondary human, you know? And that's what I, that's why, what I did quite like. Yeah. 
Exactly. And, and of course, here Artie is entirely correct, because then you could say, yeah, but women are not always depicted nude. For Christ's sake, there are so many men have got their clothes on all the time and women are always de depicted yeah. nude. Um, yeah. You know, I saw some I saw some trans activists complaining about the, uh, the, fo the photographs of object putting a T-shirt on her saying, oh, my God, look, it's so prudish. Oh, my God, we've got to cover up at the woman. Oh, we, nobody's allowed to see her, you know, deliberately choosing the the least charitable interpretation of the of the act <laughs> and course. i would say i would say that the fact that you are able to put the adult human female t-shirt on her is a good thing <laughs> you know? I, I i yes absolutely but i think imagine, I, imagine if you had to put it around those kind of big <laughs> dresses they wore in, <laughs> in, her, in her time it you wouldn't know, be so you know i, I think it's kind of like a, a figure that you can you can you can project your um, uh, interpretations onto. Um, the Rorschach element to it for sure. Yeah, definitely. But That's, it's, yeah. And, it's, and it's certainly got people talking. Yeah. Well, it's certainly also. I mean, I feel like there's some stuff that I genuinely object to. Uh, somebody. Oh, oh gosh, I forget who. There's someone I really admire who wrote a great piece who made it very clear that this was a sculpture and not a statue. This was an interpretation and an abstract yeah. thing, and not a direct inter a description of her. And I'm glad that that was clarified for me because like so many people on Twitter, you just see the headline and you think, oh my goodness, you yes. know, all these other yes, famous did. people, they weren't naked, you know, <laughs> but uh, it's such a good, there really should be more sculptures of, of women who are heroes. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? So there is that, that I totally agree with. And, you know, there's just not enough female representation in public art that isn't nude. Yes. That's the thing too. I, I, that's I, I, I recognize these criticisms, but at the same time, and then I also have kind of personal issues with the artist because her depiction of Oscar Wilde in a previous piece is like really ugly. <laughs> really? I'd like to see that actually. Uh, one thing that I loved though is because of what, uh, you know, the, the um, there's, there, there's, I think there's been a really good side to the controversy and a really bad side. The really good side is that people have been sharing their favorite statues of women Oh, there's some beautiful ones. There's some oh, great there's some ones. Absolutely magical ones. They're just wonderful, you know. But the flip side to that is I've seen people on our side kind of talking in a way that made me that reminded me of the way TRAs talk about stuff, you know. Like I've seen people uh, suggesting petitions to get it taken down, you know. Mm -hmm. I've I've found a lot of the I, I, I saw what the artist described as flaky. You know what I mean? I found the language um, censorious and uh, uh, it, it, it really made me nervous. We can't do what they do. We can't do, we can't be canceling people because, but especially, no. especially based on bad art. Like, like one of, one of the things that, uh, that I regret is, 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 was my treatment of Count Dankula, uh, who I decided was a Nazi based on circumstantial evidence. Um, and I was very nervous around that time of Trump getting into power and stuff. And I let all that fear go into trying to get him canceled. You know, I, I fully admit to that. And uh, I do want to make it up to him somehow in some way in the future. But anyway, um, the thing that really offended me about Dankula wasn't so much what he did. It was that I thought his, I thought his comedy was a bit hacky, right? Uh, it, it, I allowed my snobbery about the quality of comedy to, I allowed it to kind of shoot at him like a hot roar of rage at everything I don't like in comedy, you know? And 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 I think that you, you can't punish people for, for, for not get doing the art you want. Does that no, make sense? I think, I think that, uh, yes, absolutely. But you know, I think there's, a, there's another interesting aspect to this is um, that you actually, you know, I have to, I've thought about my position on things that I used to be so secure on in the past um, as time has gone on. But this, I mean, and this is a good thing, right? This is a, this is an excellent sort of evolution of thinking about how to argue about things, um, how to, how to consider, you know, other people and how people's lives should intersect and interact. Um, you know, the normal page three is where I first came into campaigning. And I think I was a lot more, um, you know, cancel the sun. I was very happy when we got it sort of banned off certain campuses or not, you know, or that, you know, some, some campuses said that we wouldn't have the sun here. I look back and I think, 
I'm not sure that I agree with all of the things that I used to say then. Yeah. Um, mm. Moving moving forward and and then be you know being on the side of where people do want you silenced. Obviously, the Sun is a massive national newspaper. You know, so there there are things that you have to weigh up within that. Um, mm. But it's a but it's interesting. I I, I do think that it's um, it's been an excellent learning experience for me. I feel, you know, to of, yeah. of thinking, well, if this, uh, you know, the, the sort of the cancelling thing. Whenever I see anyone cancelled, I think, uh, is it, you know, I have to really consider here. It doesn't matter what they're saying. The principle stands. What, whatever, you know, mm. yes, ab yes, about cancelling. Yes, yes. And I wonder. It's like the people. I, it, it suddenly dawns on me that the people on the right have had a lot more experience watching their side sort of fall out of favor in, in popular opinion. Um, so I think they're a little bit more capable these days of seeing the left's point of view on things. Um, yes. Uh, and we seem to be having a harder time of seeing the right's point of view on things. Um, that's partly because the sort of yin and yang of conservative and liberal has fallen apart. Whereas, you know, one was pushing against the other, but they kind of maintain an equilibrium. And yes. Now the right has gone crazy in an extreme, and as a reaction, the left has gone crazy in extreme too, and it doesn't have anyone, um, you know, yeah. keeping back its more its follies. <laughs> you know what I mean, and keeping it in check. And you're, the left really has right. to learn. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, I I um I remember when I was on Twitter and I was still uh, untouched by cancellation, so I didn't really I didn't really um recognize what when i was doing it to other people um but i remember how if someone shared a piece on quillette or if someone shared a piece uh, from any right-wing source i'd be say, like oh. i'd be like oh yeah. i don't know no, it's quillette can't can't, yeah. uh, can't be sharing that and and it's it, it, what's happened is the left have created a kind of a uh, like you know we talk the cliche of echo chamber but my god the left have ring fenced themselves from anything that might um disorient their view of the world which is that there are good people and there are evil people and if you're yeah. not with the good people you're with the evil people you know yeah. and as a, as a result there i i and i and this is why i think it's relevant to the um mary to the statue um I think that both sides, when they engage in this stuff, are engaged in anti-intellectualism, you know? Mm. And, and anti-intellectualism is uh, a terrible fucking thing. We don't take, we don't like it when, when Gore, Gove says, we've had enough of experts, which I now realize he didn't actually say. He, mm. he went on to say other stuff. Um, we don't like it when people, when the right does that. So why are we doing it? Why would we do it? You know, it's 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 anti-intellectualism is a is a real scourge. You know, it, it, it's the reason why so many people are phoning in their opinions about trans rights. You know, they 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 have outsourced their thinking to people who they think know more than them. And that's a form of anti-intellectualism that we now realize is very dangerous. It's actually affected children's health. You know, so. Yes. Uh, I mean, honestly, to, the outsourcing thing is is very interesting. Um, I, I saw a tweet somebody had done a TikTok thing where, um, you know, it was a woman talking to herself, which in itself was just absurd because obviously you're having a fucking argument with yourself. You can say whatever you want and you can come out looking amazing. <laughs> and, and, and she was like, oh, you know, there are more than two genders. And oh, really? Yes, there are. There's, you know, and she's like, oh, X, Y, X, X, Y, X, 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 Y, Q, Z. <laughs> And the other person, you know, she was there. Oh, I see. And then, herself. just like oh the, God. and then the bait and switch at the end, after all of this, was which is why I just don't understand why people can't just allow people to live in the gender they want. And you're like, why have you even bothered with the <laughs> XXY stuff if you're just going to say, you know, let people be whoever they want? And I simply can't understand people who won't allow this. However, yeah. this video had had four and a half thousand shares at the time I saw it. Um, mm. And it is, it is that that this that people just want, they 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 believe in this in innate gender identity, and they and they just want to be able to share something, to like something that that backs up their view, even though yeah. it, it made very little sense in terms of actual trans people to to bring yeah. in all of the uh, all of the chromosomal variations and then say gender. Um, 
but it, but it is just that I, I, I just want something. I it may not it may not make sense and may not understand it, but I'm just going to like it because it's it's what I've been looking for. So when yeah, somebody what says, they say, oh, what does it mean? They can yeah. say, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this yeah. video. But it's the part at the end where she says, you know, and I just don't understand how anyone disagrees. It's the I just don't understand the other <laughs> side. I'm not trying to empathize. Do you remember that book? Um, you don't. You don't then. know. You don't know what the other side is saying. You don't. Yeah. You, do, you don't understand what the other side is saying. And you don't care. And then she or, says they're yeah. just transphobes. She just dismisses them as bad people. Mm. People yeah. who have different yeah. opinions than mine, they're just bad people. I don't yeah. care. I'm just going to have a conversation with myself about how great I am. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> like, I, I have like, to remember that. Ian Forster. Ian Forster's book Howard's End was about liberals and conservatives and people with completely different worldviews trying to reconcile with each other. And the the what do you call it? Epigraph, monograph, graphograph. Uh, it was said like epigraph <laughs> only connects was a big line. Only, only connects. Connect. Yes. Everybody yes. should, you know, should, should try to understand each other. And Zadie Smith wrote that book that sort of riffed on that in the modern era. We need more of that. We need more understanding and communion. I, I wish stuff. I wish I had been doing these videos and stuff like this much earlier. I wish I'd uh, one thing I realized and is that Twitter is a very negative um, thing. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I think that being able to respond to everything in instantly in real time is making us uh you know, it's connecting us too much with all the things that we're responding to, you know? Like, I love this distance that I have now uh, and these calm conversations that we can have where we can put our points across very clearly. When I was on Twitter, I was desperately trying to, to communicate my various thoughts on all this stuff without getting into trouble, <laughs> but it was impossible because, because you know, everything can be taken out of context and, and screen grabs can misrepresent your arguments and so on and so forth. So so I just think that YouTube, uh, as long as uh, our account stays up, um, is, a, is it's just a much nicer way to uh, to engage with these issues, you know? Sorry. Strangely, it is, isn't it? Like, I, you know, YouTube I'm comments not so much, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. And I just so, want to clarify, too, be, wanting to look for nuance and wanting to engage with the other side doesn't mean hating anything extreme and, 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 and endorsing the center. I don't consider myself, for example, a centrist. I still consider myself pretty far on the left. But I also consider myself open to engagement with people from all viewpoints, you know. So I have to be a huge fan of Quillette. Well, you know, the, 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 uh, well, you know, I, I think I saw a piece recently that I might share that looks really good. Uh, I can't remember what it was about offhand, but I remember thinking, oh, yeah, that looks interesting. Oh, what was it? Oh, yes, it was about this person who went to some sort of doctor's conference and they they just chucked a bunch of gender ID stuff at them, you know. Um, uh, they said it was just insane. It was just pure, um, what's the word, you know, when they, when they, you know, indoctrination. Indoctrination, indoctrination. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'll be sharing that. But, um, uh, but, oh, God, what was I going to say? Well, I, well I saw, I mean, I think after this, uh, you know, after the election, um, I, there, were, there was quite a lot of, I, I mean, I saw people, saying about sort of gender gender critical feminists oh my god look some of them really just wanted trump to win it's because it's so it's so right that's all right wing stuff somebody uh, i i had had an argument with um, some some chap and somebody responded like a real homophobic right wing christian woman like almost almost in in sort of insanely like christian talking about Adam like a character and, uh, and uh, yes, I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I sort of disregarded it because I thought oh, it's a bot, right? You know, it's so ridiculous. But yeah. it was shared by somebody um, on the on the other side, um, somebody who we, we won't name <laughs> in case they complain. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so I got a ton of a ton of men coming onto my feed. Um, I mean, I actually hadn't, you know, Twitter hadn't shown me this person because they, it, it hides quite a lot of the ridiculous replies but because I had all these men say say things I, I saw this what, what she said and I was like well I certainly don't agree with that so I said well I'm, I'm afraid uh you know I, I have to disagree with you on um on gay men yeah um not being able to marry and yeah. then somebody replied saying Helen are you not joining the dots yet and I'm like <laughs> that's that I can that I can disagree it's with so people on the right funny. yes it's it's an, it's just it's the most ridiculous thing this you know you've got 
one person, one right wing person who says something about um, transgenderism, which is comes from a completely different um, place than I do. And everyone's like, oh, my God, look, you're so right wing. You're, you're so right wing. Thing, but again, thing, like we like we have touched on, it is yeah. obviously used as an insult to try and silence. It's a shaming yeah. mechanism, yes. which obviously doesn't work. Uh, one, 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 th one thing that they 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 try to um, cover up, but they they're not very successful, is that uh, UK feminists uh, are, are a have a socialist um, uh, background that is absolutely uh, unignorable. And you know, you've got Helen Steele, absolute hero, who took who took McDonald's to to court. Uh, and and is doing the the undercover police thing. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, you got Helen you got Linda Bellos, who started Black History Month in the UK. You know, she was cancelled by by you know whoever yes. TRAs are watching this by you bastards. You know, the, 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 you guys are the ones who are cancelling and silencing left wing women. You know, that's what you do. We don't do that. You know, so it's um, it's. Uh, it's interesting. Oh, and 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 I saw another uh, thing. Uh, uh, a failed comedian today on uh, Twitter. Uh, he he put two articles side by side. Ardy, this is to introduce. This is to introduce, introduce uh, uh, your the thing uh, uh, we 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 said we'd speak about. Um, I hope you don't mind me bringing it up. But uh, he put my my uh, an article uh, interview with me. Next to the interview, next to the piece by the LGB Alliance that appeared in the Irish Independent, and he said same paper months apart. And I was like, what, "What are you saying?" His argument was just that both things appeared in the same paper, in, you know, in the same newspaper. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and there's something there's something evil about it, but he wasn't quite able to point out what that was. No, but the no, thing, it's, it's, but the it's thing is that... that that piece is the reason, you know, one of the brilliant things about that piece is that it's something like the third most read piece on the website. And I was contacted by um, someone in LGB Alliance Ireland today. And they said, and this is what really, really made me think this is great, uh, that their auntie and their, their family members have been piqued by the piece, you know? And I think when you, in a, in a, in a weird way, it's almost hardest to, convince the people who we love of what's going on to try and get across to them of the seriousness of it and the and was, the... was this a response piece by the lgb alliance yes it yes it was the right of reply to a smear hit a hit yeah already maybe you could fill people in uh i I, th I think you're more up to speed than me on, on certain uh, a lot of aspects of it well i just i'm not really i mean you got the the, the general the main point is that there was an article, a long article published in the Indo Irish Independent by the LGB Alliance Ireland, and it has been enormously uh, positively received. Uh, it, it was in response to a terrible hit piece because so often uh, mainstream newspapers think anything to do with trans, um, anything to do with gender identity rather, must you must have trans people talking about it and only trans people because no one else's perspective matters. No other, there are no other stakeholders in gender except for trans people. Right yeah. is the idea, yeah. and then yeah. once other people, and then the first thing trans people do is attack all the other stakeholders whose positions differ from theirs. Yeah. Um, and most of those and say, and say that the they're feminists. Yeah. yeah, and say that um, their positions are so beyond the pale what that they're not even allowed to uh, Irish I'm independent. Guessed. Yeah. Oh, well, fair play. So they so they published a, a right to reply full article. They, yeah, they finally they, finally a LGB Alliance organization gained a right of reply in a mainstream media outlet, and the response has been glowing, huge. Yeah, you know, at yeah. the time I looked at it, it was the most read piece on the on the page, and everybody seems to really like it. But what's really interesting is that everything it was saying is so reasonable, and this is causing so many people to get sort of red pilled. Right. When people see people on the left going into hysterics, attacking pieces that are reasonable. Yeah. People yeah. say, well, I can't have anything to do with the left. I can't really comment in the comments, but I can see the comments that are happening right now in our chat. And there's mm. so many people saying that they feel politically homeless. And yeah. that's OK. Everybody has their own different uh, political positions. And but I feel uh, 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 saddened by that as somebody who still believes in the left. Um, and who feels that there are missteps that the left has made, but that on a whole, uh, the progressive movement 
is still uh, viable and important. But so many people just see that all this misbehavior and attitudes that are so terrible to people on the left and they get red pills. If you're yeah. a young person going into school and you're trying to learn new ideas and everybody's telling you that this one idea is is taboo, of course, you're going to look at it for yourself, you know, secretly. And if you mm. read it and realize it's perfectly normal and an acceptable position, you're going to say, oh, I've found the secret knowledge and everybody yeah. on the left is crazy. And you're going to run to the right and you're going to discover someone, you know, yeah. you're going to Steven, Steven, right Steven, on the other side. Steven Pinker made that exact point. He, he made that exact point. He said that um, uh, people were investigating for themselves, uh, canceled people like Jordan Peterson or whoever it happens to be. Mm -hmm. And they were realizing, oh, wait, he's not actually saying anything uh, extreme. You know, he's not saying anything wow. that, that should get him. <laughs> <laughs> he, maybe, know, I, maybe, I, maybe that piece they read, he wasn't, you know, but that's I know he's not, I know, to say. I, they don't, they're not extreme, but they need nuanced discussion. Ayn Rand, Jordan Peterson are people I believe are incorrect and I disagree with. And I think if you take them too seriously, that can lead to dangerous ideologies on both of their parts. Yes, but you like just to, a big stake for the rest of your life. You can't ban them. You have to engage with Ayn Rand because people follow that stuff. You have to engage with Peterson because people follow that stuff. And, and you have to calmly point out that some parts of it are reasonable and some are not. You know, you it can't just dismiss the whole thing. There was yeah. an amazing video uh, that was uh, actually an old video, um, a year or two old, of a guy at an abortion rights protest. And uh, he's doing that thing that all these kind of young left wing kind of mocking and dancing as he talks to this woman. And, you know, she's coming out with the with the expect, you know, she's she was anti-abortion and it was a pro-abortion uh, uh, demonstration. And she said, you know, you're killing babies or something like this, you know. Uh, and I'm very pro-choice and uh, always have been and fought for it in Ireland. Um, but this guy, like, he he kind yeah. of, you know, he kind of just does a kind of a, a, a wheelhouse kick and kicks her in the face without even... Yeah without it even occurring to him that this might not be something to do. Yeah, and there's no, and it's not anger. I mean, as somebody pointed out, he doesn't get angry and do it. It's yes. just, I need to punish this woman. I need to punish this time. person. Yes, I need to shut her up. And I am absolutely right. I'm righteous in doing yeah. so. It didn't even occur to him that the people around him might think, hang on, you can't actually kick a woman in the face no matter what she's saying. He yeah. seemed to think that this, I mean, I was shocked at the sort of the blase attitude that he seemed to take to it. I mean, luckily he and, did, and, and he again, did actually lot, get and, picked up for it yeah, and yeah. charged. Yeah. But, but but it is. And this is a massive problem, isn't it? And I think that this is a problem that we've got when people do shut down other voices. They're in their bubble. I mean, honestly, the amount of people that I show that, that survey that um, I crowdfunded for a couple of years ago, and I say, actually, the majority of the UK agree with me. And they spend they, they go to such lengths to try and discredit the survey because yeah. they simply they cannot believe. <laughs> that these results are true. They 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 honestly don't believe that yeah. most of the UK don't think that a male born person with a penis should be allowed to undress in a changing room with teenagers. It's, they don't they don't believe it. And they, this is they, because they've shut out everything else. And yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. When, but when faced, but you know, doing it on camera like that, people are going to be like, "Are you kidding me?" I mean, look at the best. A, a fantastic example of this was uh, happened today. I think uh, rock paper scissors. Um, uh, fired one of their regular columnists yes. because he said something entirely. This, this is a gaming magazine, right? Yes, it is a gaming a gaming website. He said something entirely reasonable. He said something that is not controversial in any way, unless you're in the weird wo world of West Coast, East Coast elite kind of uh, media people who all seem to think believe in this stuff when the rest of the world doesn't. The BBC <laughs> believes it. The rest of the world doesn't. But, but what was really worrying about that was that he didn't even say, I don't think this. He said, I think that we should be allowed to question this. And the, those two statements are actually really different. Yeah. And actually saying to him, no, you shouldn't be allowed to question it is really frightening. So yeah, he said, said, they didn't even say your opinions are wrong. They said, no, he said, said we should this, be allowed to talk about this. There should be no discussion at all. And even yeah. the suggestion that there should be discussion will make Mary exactly. you getting fired. That is just so many degrees of crazy. Yeah. And, ro and rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors uh, tweeted out the usual, 
we we have, we will not be working with him again with and they turned off replies they turned <laughs> off replies i mean it's just extraordinary what you I have know. like i hate using the word elite is is so often uh right wing shorthand that uh I'm, I'm very suspicious of it but i have to say on this issue in particular there is a small but very very connected group of people and they are doing everything they can to stop people from having the discussion. It, I've never seen anything like it, you know? And it is back to that idea, isn't it? That absurd idea um, of safe safe space. You know, I'm allowed a safe space. I'm allowed not to even have you questioning this. However, women, even though you're undressed, you have to do it in front of uh, like blokes. You know, you yeah. can't you can't not have your safe space. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, just yeah. the most incredible thing. It's amazing. And, and them turning off replies, every single person who does this and they turn off replies, it is a, 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 a how do you pronounce tacit? Tacit? Tacit. A tacit. A tacit. A tacit. A, yeah, that's your I guess it problem. depends if you're Canadian, Irish, or Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, tacit. But it's, a, it's a tacit. <laughs> it's a, oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's. <laughs> It's a tacit admission that that they they know they're in the wrong. They know they're in the wrong. They know that if they leave the replies open, a hundred thousand people will say, "No, we do need to speak about this. It's important," you know. Um, and and it's the most disgracefully dishonest thing. And if anyone knows um, the the author, if he would like a place to publish his column. Uh, while he's waiting to go on to a more respectable outlet, I would love to publish him. <laughs> so, so if you, if you, if anyone knows anyone who knows him, please let him know. I'll publish his column in the short term. I mean, you know, obviously uh, he won't want to be associated with me because I'm the great Satan. But, uh, but, but maybe you never know. Well, maybe. maybe. You know, once <laughs> once you've once you've once you've been um, pushed to that side of the line, maybe he'll think. Uh, actually, you know what? What was so bad about this? Oh and, yeah, well, that, it's... I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing though: the turning off replies thing doesn't necessarily work in their favour because I noticed, you know, you note the uh, number of people that quote tweet, and of course, quote tweeting means that everyone on that person's feed can see it, as opposed to if you just reply, it's simply the people who are there. So I yes. do think it's. I mean, although they don't have to engage. Um, yes. The, it's you know the story does actually get a little you know even more probably even more viral than it would. It's interesting with Twitter trying to control us. In the, I mean, I find this this new way they have very interesting, where they insist that you have to write something along with your quote tweet. That's a very odd move by Twitter. I'm I'm not quite sure what. what I think doing, I but. heard that 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 was only done in the run up to the elections to prevent. Right. Uh, bots in some way however it hasn't gone away i thought that they would turn it off afterwards but they yeah. haven't yeah 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 it's very it's very interesting i think it might be a, like i don't trust twitter at all now the way i see twitter is basically twitter is uh i see them the same way i saw murdoch before uh, you know before the times became the only newspaper to publish uh, gender critical stories um Ironically. Yeah, um, but uh, but Twitter is a publisher, and it's uh, it's um, it, it, it's 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 you know it's the ultimate echo chamber, and people on it have a really skewed idea of what real, as you say, Helen, the people who don't believe your poll, it's because they're on Twitter, you know, and there's yes. nothing nothing on Twitter except people who agree with them, you know, and yes, back, yes, back them up and, like like that like that chap who um, asked all of his uh, followers to report me for targeted harassment, um, yeah. you know, actually had blocked virtually everyone who follows mm. me like, or anyone who wasn't already or, or pre-blocked when they played got blocked. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the people on his feed wouldn't see any of the replies. That's all they could see was lots of people saying, oh, my God, you're so great. And this woman is horribly evil. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, I, it, I do. 
but I also do think that the uh, the retweeting um, with comments thing on um, Twitter is quite amusing because on one side, I've got loads of TRA saying to me, oh my God, you're such a bully, quote tweeting everything always. And then you've got Twitter saying, quote tweet, come on, quote tweet. <laughs> yes, exactly. Actually, in a roundabout way, you just reminded me of something. I just wanted to make a, a quick announcement for uh, uh, people who are waiting for the, uh, Jane Claire Jones, wonderful I'm still new. Waiting. Yes, and I can explain why that is, Helen. They've had a little bit of problem, problems with their... Oh, no, I know. I've been told. I'm just... I'm excited. I'm, I'm telling everyone else, Helen. Sure. Oh, sorry. Um, and, uh, and there's been... Uh, Get the book <laughs> out, Helen. Get the book out. Yeah. So, if, oh, if, you, so if, you, if you have... <laughs> if you have ordered this, um, then just uh, uh, don't worry. It is winging its way to you. It's just... Uh, sorry, Helen. I, I'm hate, I hate... Sorry, you just down again. If you have ordered it, it's coming. Don't worry. It'll be with you eventually. And Jane, if you're watching this, thank you so much for sending me my beautiful copy with your lovely note. Um, that's something I can now knock off the to-do list. Um, uh, sorry, that was that was so unromantic and awful. <laughs> she, she didn't see that. Um, uh, anything okay, else? Just, yeah, uh, I just yeah. wanted to say, uh, just, to, just riffing on what we're talking about, it's amazing us as a sort of gender-critical group for lack of a better term. I don't know if that necessarily encapsulates all of us who are critical of trans ideology, but nevertheless, uh, we have all, because we're so witness to uh, the problems within the left, because our opinions are uh, you know, unorthodox on the left, and many of us are politically diverse. We're not necessarily all on the left, but largely are. Um, we are in a unique position to really see what's going on. And it's amazing. I think of Andy Warhol's 15 minutes of fame sentence. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like now everybody's going to receive get 15 minutes of cancellation. Everybody's yeah, going to be yeah, canceled yeah, yeah. for at one point in their lives. And that experience of being canceled and of being cast out from your peer group, um, mm. that's every time that happens to somebody, that's when they realize that there's something wrong. And it's yes. becoming more and more people are finding, finding themselves afoul of that line. And eventually yeah. it's just going to have to be yeah. everybody, you know? Yeah, yes. yeah, but we have to we have to broaden the conversation out to um, is it the is it these tools that is making us behave like this? Absolutely. I think it is Twitter especially. But Twitter especially. Twitter. What Twitter did right was it makes it makes the inside of your head political, right? You know, yeah. you 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 write things out and and you know, let's say you tell a joke if you're a comedian, you tell a joke, and the person the joke is about you know, I don't know, a policeman or whatever profession it happens to be, reads it, gets angry and pulls you up on it, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like our, our, our beliefs, our thoughts, our jokes, all this stuff were never meant to be political. But because, they, because we all now stand on a soapbox that potentially addresses millions of people, mm -hmm. we, we're, we're either self-policing or policing other people, you know? And it's... Yeah really dangerous it's so it's dangerous when they get involved and but what's really interesting is the history of how this happened because it was about 10 or 15 years ago reddit it must have been 10 closer to 10 than 15. reddit and twitter were embroiled in so much controversy around the fact that they didn't want to do any censoring they didn't want to do any filtering of their platform yes. they said yep. that they were just content providers they yep. weren't publishers and they were uh assailed for allowing too much smut too much that's not the right word. Too much like terrible stuff to go on, like uh, you know, anti-Semitism and yeah. just terrible, terrible stuff. And they they resisted it for so long on sort of ultra libertarian principled grounds. And they realized that wasn't tenable because too much bad stuff was happening. And as a reaction, they have they've been deciding to engage politically with specific topics. But the yeah. ones they're engaging in are the ones that they personally uh, yes. uh, care about, not the ones. You know, I do think there should be a threshold where Twitter should step in and ban I certain kinds of speech. And I do think universities, too, the idea of uh, no platforming is applicable, but in rare circumstances to, like, tobacco lobbyists who are trying to say tobacco doesn't cause cancer or climate deniers who are just making the same, you know, um, bad faith arguments or Holocaust deniers. There is a line where people should step in and take platforms away from people. But that line is extremely serious and it must be guarded very seriously and not take it for granted. And Twitter and Reddit have decided, finally they've acknowledged that that line exists under a, a lot of pressure, but they're only applying it to their own personal pet causes. You know, mm -hmm. these are tech bro nerds and tech bro nerds love 
the transgender issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, well, and, and a lot of them really don't like women. Exactly. There's, there's a lot of anger, a lot of anger towards women, which we know. I mean, we know the threshold for women getting banned compared to um, what men can say is just extreme. Oh, yeah. I mean, I always point out that Megan Murphy got banned for saying that's him about a person who went under the names Jonathan and Jessica and Twitter banned her for that. And then that as a result of her being banned from Twitter, that was enough justification for the mayor of yes. my city to denounce her as an evil person. And yes. for my personal city councilor to try to announce, to have laws changed so that she could not speak publicly in my city ever again, which yeah, is just- Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's <sighs> extraordinary. And that's what I mean when I say- the apply private platforms to the literal public sphere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's, I, I mean, that's insane. one thing that that's, we... That's insane. Uh, good God, publicly. I didn't know that. My mayor yeah. and my counselor have denounced Megan Murphy by name in public press conferences designed specifically to address her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought the whole thing is, is like, a, <laughs> it, the whole thing is like a, a kind of a feedback loop. It, 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 it creates its own, you know, I'm now, one of the reasons why I'm, uh, you know, counseled is because I'm, I'm just a controversial person, but 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 I guarantee you most people have no idea why. Same thing with, with J.K. Rowling. No one is ever able to actually point out what she said that's transphobic <laughs> because she didn't yes. say anything transphobic. But you know, you know? also what's interesting is um, I, I had a look at your uh, wiki page at some point, and it's mainly about, you know, like Father Ted and the IT crowd and, you know, all of these things and awards and things. And there's this tiny little bit about, um, con you know, spoken about transgender issues. And I, like most most of the people, they just, they don't care. They don't know. They don't care. Yeah. But this is such a big thing. And it's such a big thing with sort of celebrities and media that you are, they, they simply can't, that can't be allowed to be be seen with you or sort of yeah. associate yeah. with you, and it's yeah. the most incredible, like, like well, as we've said so many times, bubble. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not, I'm never going to let them forget about it. I I <laughs> I, I, I like I really am. People like the failed comedian and the woke women of stand up. I'm going to remind them every chance I get on what side they were on during this, on the side that supports puberty blockers, on the side that silence women, silences women and sends them threats, you know, on the side that 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 praises in, obvious incels sometimes to the roof uh, while yes. while denigrating trans people as as uh, as true scum, you know, like that, yeah. that's yes. crazy to denigrate trans uh, it, it is. Yeah, we I know. Can never emphasize you know? that enough. Gender activists call transsexual scum on the yeah. regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I know it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah. That that's the most as, as, as astonishing thing. And uh, you know, this goes back to when you know somebody says, "Oh my God, look at this person! They're so on the right, and they're and you're associate of it's the same talking points. It can't even you know they can't even say, look, you're agreeing with them.' They they have to use this association word, which is you're using the same talking points. And, and they never and engage. They, yeah, they. they, and they yet, never Point to 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 people just actually actually engaging in transphobia, or you mm. know, by and homophobia by saying, mm. you know, on on that side. But it's just, I mean, there's there's so much of it that there is not even any point in bothering. You know, I just think, well, I'm, you know, be, being told that you're right wing is very different to actually being right wing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one of those things that it doesn't really bother you at all because, and in fact, and I tell you, it's an interesting one that they try and say it to you because they think it'll bother you because they know you really are left wing. Yes, it's you're, like you're you know not a feminist. Mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're not feminist. They're saying it to hurt you because they know yes. you're actually left wing yes. and being called right wing will hurt you. <laughs> you know? Uh, they I know. Are so fucking it's a dull. tacit admission, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It really is. It really is. You know, so I have to say, though, one of the things that, even though this has obviously been tough for me and, and it's not been a pleasant experience uh, at all, it's been three years uh, of kind of, you know, various forms of stress and hell. Um, I have to say, for for a writer, it, it's been invaluable, you know? It's opened up so much to me, you know? It's opened up, uh, I've met people like you and people like uh, uh, you. 
<laughs> yes. Sorry, yes. I realized, I realized I you. Met, you. You, you were the second you. That's, that's why I did You've it. met so a you woman know. who actually does work in IT. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, I, 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 and I've met, and I've met, I've met. Um, uh, I now am friends with more fucking trans people than than the than any of the ones calling me transphobic. You know, exactly <laughs> yes. right. You know what I mean? I've I, I've I've got this very full kind of um, uh, a store. I would say a store of stuff that I can use for the rest of my life. You know, I was actually kind of feeling a little bit tapped out in terms of um, my career and stuff. I just thought I'm getting a bit, it's getting a bit exhausting doing studio sitcoms. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty tough. You know, they, they, they really do wear you down. And the last one I did, uh, it did, it wasn't a success. So there was no kind of, it didn't have that, that life beyond that Ted and IT crowd had and stuff like that. So I, 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 I was thinking, you know, I'm going to have to change stuff because I can't, I can't kill myself uh, every week and then have nothing to show well, for it. You know, you certainly change stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what, sorry, what do you mean? Well, you've changed, you know, you've, 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 Change yeah. Your oh yeah, yeah. I've definitely moved into a new area. That's that's true. But the thing is, uh, uh, you know, it's got me back writing uh, prose, which I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm going to look more into that, and uh, I'm working on something as well at the moment. And you know, it, everything everything I've kind of gathered up. I don't. Know, it's just great for a writer. It really is. That's excellent. Really is. Well, I'm can glad. I ask, I'm really. Uh, can I ask a well, question though? Yeah. Um, so, like. Well, I guess I'll make an observation and then tie it into a question because it's amazing how the the, the total power that these uh, these new centralized media platforms have, Twitter, YouTube, et cetera, Facebook, uh, they have the power to try to ban people and push people off. But at the same time, people aren't being completely banned from the entertainment industry. I'm thinking of like Elia Kazan and Dalton Trumbo when they were blacklisted uh, yeah. for communist affiliations. Yeah. Um, they were silenced completely, and it wasn't until decades later that they were being recognized, you know, with Hollywood actors portraying yeah. them. But here you are, there's an attempt to blacklist you. It doesn't seem to be succeeding at all because you're reaching a huge audience every day. Um, still, hopefully, I mean, I, I may eat those words, but uh, right now it seems you're still reaching people. Um, and they're, it's, it's not working. The total complete blacklist attempt doesn't appear to be working. But what do you think of that? And also, who's going to play you when it's your movie? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just saw Christopher Walken is playing an Irishman in a new film that I've got to share the video for later because it has to be seen to be believed. Um, so maybe Christopher Walken. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 he seems I'm, a bit tall for an Irishman. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, sorry, sorry, Artie. Can you rephrase the question? I, I, well, I guess I, like, oh, do you agree or disagree? What are your thoughts on this attempted blacklisting, and are you feeling like your voice is still being heard or not? I guess. Oh yeah. Well, the, I'm in a position. I'm in a strange position because uh, you know when I was on Twitter uh, at at the peak, I had eight hundred thousand followers, and then it went down to five hundred thousand when I started talking about this. Um, and then I was kicked off Twitter, and it was back to ground zero. And now I'm, uh, I've got an email subscription list that's uh, that's not certainly not five hundred thousand, not even close. But uh, I still get lots of people contacting me and asking me if I can publish their stories and and blogs and and stuff like this. So I feel like I'm in a kind of a a good a good place in terms of my contribution to this fight. You know. Uh, people seem to think, oh, I've got a story. I'll go to, I'll go to Graham, and that's yes. I'm really delighted about that. Uh, you know? Yes, people, people say to me, can you get this to Graham? You know, can mm -hmm. can you bring this to Graham's attention? Um, yeah. But you know, but things. I think what the, I think the the good thing is is that things are. You know, you've been doing it for a while. I've been doing it for even longer. But things are moving. Did you see that um, judge in Canada um, ruling yes. that that young girl could not get a double mastectomy yes um, that, which that, in canada as well i think was was quite extraordinary british but, columbia no less that's our province that's the most cuckoo bananas yeah oh really oh that's great that's great yeah. so you know maybe well, maybe this is the beginning of the tide slowly turning in canada but i mean certainly things things here are you know i, I don't want to moving on i don't want to i don't want to go into hyperbole but is there anyone more evil than the Spotify employees 
than the Spotify employees who are trying, who, who successfully got Abigail Schreier's book taken off uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, has that it, happened? It was successful? Yeah. It's not oh. on the, it's not on Spotify. It's, it's not on Spotify. You oh, know, God, be kidding. is there anyone more evil than someone who would try and suppress a book that's talking about how to uh, stop kids from feeling gender dysphoria? It's Sh certainly uh, not a good, not a good look, is it? But I mean, um, in the spirit of this the episode, of this theme of this episode, we should probably say that they're misguided and we disagree with them rather than evil, right? I we're doubt. trying to read and find consensus and right. Right. only right. connect, only okay. connect, everybody, only connect. So well, <laughs> they're very yeah, misguided. You're um, right. They're, they're very yeah. misguided. They're, um, uh, but it's a, it's a, it's a really dreadful. Um, uh, uh, but I think misguided is, is the is word, really isn't it? Because it is, this is what we've been talking about. People are being guided. They're being guided by their peers. It's peer pressure. They're being guided by the fact that they will get lots and lots of kudos from, from you know, from the extreme fringes of the left for this. They'll be cheered on within yes. that bubble. It is It is guided. I think misguided is, is exactly the right word there. And well, it's hard well, to figure out who's steering the guidance. It's just like with Scientology being so evil an organization. And you want to say these peons. A misguided organization. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the individual people are doing terrible things, but they're also victims of a cult. So how far up the yes. ladder do you go and where do you assign blame? Because the second in command left. And then you're like, God, I hated you while you were in. And then the day you got out and spoke out against it, suddenly I was like very admiring of you. And it's like, you know, these things drive themselves and it's hard to assign individual blame when these movements go off the rails, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's but it's, but it's it's interesting. It, it, it is one class of people. It is generally white, middle-class people in the media. And they've all decided to believe this thing. They don't, can't even explain it. They can never explain it to you. Explain it. <laughs> it's so funny. They can I mean, I've never heard the same definition of gender twice from anyone. You know, no. they they do not know what they're talking about, and yet yeah. they are fighting to get people fired for not for not calling the same. I don't know for not walking the same line. They are. It's uh, again. It's the most extraordinary thing. And the way I see it, it is, is that we, it we is were the most extraordinary thing. We we were we were we have we were not emotionally mature enough to to be given the gift of the internet and just told to go off and play with it. I think we, that's probably you know, true. Yeah, you know. I, I think it, that's right. I used to describe it like it was as if we all grew uh, a tail and a big heavy tail it's like a fact. and 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 like you know we're all getting used to it. We 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 forget to hold on to it as we walk through restaurants. <laughs> That's the way I see it, you know. And plates are going everywhere, and it's just smash. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Smash, smash, smash. That's what we are with Twitter. We we've got this. We've got this tail, <laughs> and we haven't got used to it yet. You know, we've mm -hmm. we've evolved. We've evolved into a species that can hear each other's thoughts. You know, and our first fucking instinct is to try and suppress those thoughts. You know, we, we it's got we, someone serious, someone serious, not a comedy writer, <laughs> has, uh, but someone serious has to has to take this question and to and to ask it. You know, we have to ask ourselves, who are we? Uh, you know, as a as a race, as a species, what are we? Uh, is it is it right that we can hear each other's thoughts and act on them? You know, is 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 are all these gifts that we've been given? Are they? Are they? Are yes. we ready? Are we ready for them? <laughs> yes, this is. Yeah, yes, I thought it was like the ready. discovery of nuclear fission that was going to lead to the end of human civilization. But I think it's the discovery of like Twitter replies. <laughs> <laughs> going to be the end of civilization. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Well, you know, now we can only quote tweet or whatever, whatever they're forcing <laughs> us to do, you know. Soon they'll, soon they'll just copy in Black Trans Lives Matter at the end of every, at the end of every tweet. You'd be like, oh, I can't delete this. What's going on? <laughs> you know. Um, uh, yeah, well, I, I don't know. I, I guess uh, I think that's I think that's it for me. We've done fifty four minutes. That feels like a good show. Um, shall we? Uh, shall we three discuss how it went uh, uh, <laughs> back in the uh, in the green room? And we'll say yes, goodbye. Yeah, I think a beer. I'd like a beer. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Monday, Tuesday. 
Oh God, I got no. I can't drink. I can't drink. Um, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us, and uh, um, we will uh, see you around the same time next week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Yes, thank you.